I'm with Billy and Ashley from A Small Light, which is uh, National Geographic and Disney Plus. Thanks for being with me. No problem. So you guys, you guys play Anne and Margot Frank, right? Yes, we yes. do. So I have an older brother, and we kind of developed this silent language of communication as playing sisters. Did you guys find as scene partners you were starting to develop that? Oh, one hundred percent. We formed a. In our cast, we're, we're the youngest. There's like all 30 year olds. So we definitely had that connection. Also playing sisters, you you get to form a, a sisterhood type of connection. So we definitely we definitely had our little little language with each other during sets and offset. We had we always were out together. So, Absolutely. Yeah. I think what was so special about this project that it was that we had pre-production. Yeah. So we all got to bond before we, we actually just <laughs> were thrust into production. Yeah. And I think the relationships that we made on this project are just so special. Super and I think special. that that comes across on the screen. Yeah, the cast on this project and the crew, everyone, the showrunners, we are so close with it. an incredible people we and an incredible, family. yeah, incredible people on this project. It's can't say a bad word about any of them. That's that's absolutely beautiful. Um, now, the Real Sisters, obviously, they had to struggle and find solace within each other. As when you two are working together, did you find moments during scenes? Now, no spoilers, but were there moments during scenes where you're like, okay, I, I really need the support right now? Yeah, there was, there's a scene where it's um, Margot, Anne, and Meep, and Meep's telling a bit of a story. And I love that scene because it, it's not that you show the sister, the sisters being sisters in a way of not arguing but being together and listening and and reacting to the story together and it's it's really feels like childhood and really sentimental yeah. and it made me think of my sister um throughout our childhoods when you know family members talk about a great little story that makes you go oh <laughs> and you know it was it's great acting with ashley because we i found it really easy to play off ashley and her reactions it was really just up and going energetic and it, it, it we really went hand in hand with it, so there were definitely moments like that, like sisterhood type of moments within a small light that the writers got to create very well. That, yes. that, that very nice watch. I agree. I think the series shows moments where, um, you know, they're getting to play games and, you know, the ways that they cope with, you know, being in this annex for so long and you know, the, how it mm. impacts the relationships. And I think you kind of see, you know, Anne and Margot's relationship kind of blossom a bit more yeah. even as they're, you know, stuck for many years together. The the sisters have been portrayed a few times in the past. Is there anything that you felt either of you were bringing to this that's, that's different and unique in a way? Well, in my case, when I first got the role and even before then, when I was auditioning for Anne, I decided not to watch anybody else's portrayals because I wanted, I didn't want to be influenced by somebody else's acting or actions or mannerisms. I wanted them to be true to my own. I wanted it to be my and Frank. Um, but what I do know is that it's because of how I thought Anne was before auditioning. I thought she was this, you know, sweet, innocent girl. But she's not. She's a very strong person, very fiery. You know, she's a very loyal girl and she's a teenager. You know, she, she went through all these emotions. So I feel like a small light and the, and the script in the small lights gets to shed a light on the humanity of Anne Frank and her real self, her real teenage self, which I think people are really going to like. Yeah, for Margot, I didn't know that Anne had a sister <laughs> before working on this project. So I thought that that was so fascinating because I had known about Anne Frank's story for most of my life. So once I started working on this project, I, you know, I tried to dive into as much research as possible. I, I read Meep's account, I read the diary, and, and I also took into account that those are other perspectives of Margot. And I always try to remember that Margot's had her own diary and, you know, what would she say if her diary was published? So that was the way I kind of approached the character. And also I used some of Anne's diary to write out Margot's perspective of what was going on during the annex. 
Oh, that's incredible. All right. Final question. Uh, is there anything I didn't ask either of you that I should have? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'd like just to throw out that A Small Light is filmed from a non-documentary style. It's very much the story of what happened. And it's not somebody sitting down and lecturing at you about the facts of the events. It's, 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 it's an amazing way of telling the story that I don't think has been done before. And it's told through Meep's point of view and her story really hasn't been told before. You know, I barely knew who Meep was. I knew her name, but I thought she was a, a housekeeper or a landlady that had no connection to the Frank family. She just hid them because she was a nice person. You know, I think it's, I'm very excited for people to meet Meep and for people to meet the Frank family's true story and, and the events that happened from a non-documentary style. I also think there's a lot of humor in our mm. show, which is really helpful to let audiences digest the material, but also creates empathy for our characters in ways that you wouldn't be able to get if you didn't use humor. Yeah. So I think that that's really special yeah. about our project too. Thank you.